This video demonstrates the motion control panel of the web UI built into the MPIC series controllers. Hi, I am Micah Studeman. Here's a quick preview. Log in to find the motion control panel under the operations menu. This interface runs on Java and allows you to run test moves, reset alarms, log amplifier data, set amplifier parameters, and check amplifier I.O. on the controller. Now let's look at this in more detail. I'm logged into the web UI on the MP3300 IEC demo, just like in the last video. So let's open the motion control panel. When using the Chrome browser to run the motion control panel, you will need to run Java externally because Chrome does not support Java. When using the other browsers, the motion control panel may show up within the browser page. After the Java applet is downloaded, it can be opened. If Java is not up to date, a message may appear asking if you would like to update Java. Since I know it works on the Java I have installed, I will update Java later. Another dialog box will appear, checking to see if you want to run this application from Yaskawa. I will click Run because I trust Yaskawa. The motion control applet will then start running. The upper portion of the motion control panel shows some access information and allows you to perform a test move. The clear alarm button clears the main alarm for that access. When using the test move functionality, the program cannot be running on the controller, so the stop switch needs to be turned on. To perform a test move, just enable the servo, set a target position, and press the move button. The units shown in the target position are the same units that would be set up in the hardware configuration of MotionWorks IAC. The bottom portion of the motion control panel contains six different tabs. The first tab is the Alarms tab. This allows alarms both on the controller and the amplifiers to be seen and reset. This Clear Alarms button clears all of the alarms as long as they can be cleared. The Reset Servo Net button forces the controller to reconnect all Mechatrolink devices. This also causes the servo amplifiers to reboot. The Data Log tab allows you to graph servo access motion and I.O. data. The Start Logging button allows you to set up the data for logging, along with the period and the trigger. Once the trigger is set, the Start button can be pressed to start logging. So if I ran a test move, you'll see that the requested waveform is being captured in the Data Log area. The Display Options button allows the color, offset, and scale to be changed. The Save Log button allows you to save the waveform to the computer as a CSV file. The FFT button allows you to take an FFT of the waveform. The Access Parameters tab contains a select number of parameters that can be changed in the amplifier. These parameters, however, are not saved within the controller or the MotionWorks IC project file. The Drive PN tab allows any amplifier parameter to be set. This, however, is not a recommended way to set the parameters, because just like in the Access Parameters tab, the parameters are not saved within the controller or the MotionWorks IC project file. The Absolute Encoder and Multi-Turn Reset Counter can be reset by using the Absolute Encoder Init button and the Multi-Turn Reset button. These buttons, when followed by a controller reboot, are the only way to clear AA10 or ACC0 alarms from the web UI. The I.O. Settings tab is useful for troubleshooting I.O. The inputs for the amplifiers and any option cards can be seen on top and the outputs can be seen below. To set the outputs from this tab, make sure that the stop switch is on on the controller. The Diagnostics tab shows the memory usage and availability on the controller. It also shows how many FDs, or file descriptors, are in use. This information can aid in advanced Ethernet debugging. The motion control panel is not available on mobile devices because they do not support Java. This concludes the Web UI Overview Motion Control Panel video. Here are some videos that explain some of the topics more in depth. Thanks for watching this video, and remember yourskawa.com slash IAC for application notes, videos, firmware updates, and more.